What's up YouTube? It is your boy JB and we are here today with the review for The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. This is season 11, episode 10, Affairs and Accidents, the name of the episode. Erica, 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 you're trying it and it's not really good. Like the acting that Erica is given, I'm not buying. But before we get into this video, if you guys are watching this video or any other video on the channel and not yet subscribed to the channel, we gotta stop going on this date, you guys. Like, you know, you taking me out for dinner, then the bill comes, oh, it's split. No, it's not split. Hit that subscribe button, you guys. Hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit all the buttons on the channel, light them up. And also, you guys, I am officially, officially monetized. So if you guys would do me a huge favor, Please watch the commercials for please watch the ads for me it would mean a lot to me now with that out of the way without further ado let's talk about beverly hills shall we erica jane like i said erica <sighs> erica is putting it on thick right but i get what erica is doing but it's at this point i don't think it's i mean i don't it's not a, it's not a point of i don't think it's a point of i know at this point it didn't work so Erica, you know, her clubhouse that she has, which I loved her clubhouse, she is letting the clubhouse go right. Um, she's so sad to let it go, which I, I'm not going to sit here and be like, she's not sad to let that go. I would be sad to let that clubhouse go. So she says that since leaving Tom, you know, she's not gotten any money from him. So I was like, I was just sitting there thinking to myself, I'm like, okay, she's not gotten any money from Tom. So I was just thinking like, what is Erica up to? Like, like I said last week. I'm not going to sit here and negate what Erica, I, I don't think, again, once I, once again, I don't think Erica know full well what Tom was doing, but I don't think that she was as in the dark as Erica would like for us to believe. I just don't, I don't believe it. I believe that Erica knew something. She might not have knew the logistics of the plane crash victims, the guy with the motorcycle, the guy with the, that his, 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 him and his girlfriend was in the fire, his girlfriend died. I don't think she knew the logistics, but I don't, I just don't think Erica is as oblivious as she's wanting us to believe she was. I don't, I really don't, you guys, I'm sorry. If you guys believe that Erica didn't know, like I said, I don't think she knew everything, but I just don't think, like, what does she think? Like a lawyer's salary, and then he's, he's footing the bill for your glam, your, your glam, your, your, um, make, your glam is makeup, glam um hair your outfits your like as much as i cannot stand her um uh danielle danielle said eric is not that talented she is talented but she's not that great of a singer let's be honest with each other let's keep it real like i just i wonder like i said i just don't i don't think erica knew everything that tom was doing but i don't think she was as in the dark I just don't think she was. I don't think she was a mastermind. I don't think she was his personal accountant or anything like that. But you know, I just can't. I can't. I, I just can't believe that she she didn't know a little bit. She knew something. She knew something. And then, like I said, Erica's. I think Erica took my advice because you guys remember in the begin in the first few episodes of the season, I kept telling Erica modesty, like let go of like let go of some stuff like you gotta you gotta get rid of some stuff at this point like them that them out them outfits you are you be wearing donate them to somebody you know you gotta downsize so i think she i think someone may have told her that downsize get a smaller house get rid of the clubhouse get, get rid of some of your clothing i think she may i think somebody may have told her that thinking that maybe if someone sees that she doesn't have as much as she did when she was with Tom, they would go, they would be, a judge would probably be lenient on her, but we know now that the judge is not lenient on her because the judge says that the people can come after her. Good luck, Erica. Good luck, sis. And, I, you know, I still love, I, I'm still Erica, I still love Erica Jane. I will say that. I still love Erica. I just have the side eye for Erica, honestly. I, I still love Erica. Just got the side eye for you, my love. But I love you. And I wish the best for you. Honestly, gotta do. Hope it's not a prison jumpsuit. Really do. Let's move on. All right, you guys. So in this episode, um, 
it, nothing really happened in this episode. It was once again the Erica show. So we see all the ladies, they're getting ready to head to La Quinta. So Kyle is already in La Quinta. So what it'll be is I think some of the ladies will be staying at the house with Kyle. Some of the other ladies will be staying. Sorry, you guys, the camera cut off because it didn't have enough storage. I need to buy me a camera at some point because I always forget to delete stuff out of here. So like I said, um, some of the ladies are going to be staying with Kyle. Some are going to be staying in a hotel. So I think the ones that are going to be staying in a hotel will consist of, and I could be wrong, but I think the ladies that are staying in the hotel is going to be Garcelle and it's going to be Eric. I think it's Garcelle, Erica. I think it's Garcelle, Erica, and Crystal, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's what it is. And I think, like, I think Renna, Dorit, Kathy, Kyle, and who else is it? Sutton. I think they're all going to be staying at the house. Now, you guys can correct me in the comment section. I think that's what it is. Now, all the ladies are going to show up on the same day, with the exception of Garcelle. Garcelle called Kyle and let Kyle know, hey, I'll be there, but I'm, you know, I have to film the reel today, but I'll be there tomorrow after, you know, after, um, actually she says no. She'll be there the next day after she finished filming the reel. So then the ladies, we see all the ladies, they start to show up to the house, right? And like I said a few minutes ago, there'll be, some girls will be standing there, some girls won't be. So we see Sudden and Crystal and they're actually very cordial with one another at this point. I was like, oh, that's cool. So then they talk about Erica. So at this point, Erica and Tom had went to court that day and Dorit was telling them what happened. So Dorit told them that they froze Tom's assets, you know, because they think at least two million was used fraudulently, I guess you would say. And then they're also going to do like, a, you know, like an evaluation on him, you know, medically to see if he's in good health. You know, I think they're trying to say that. I think they're trying to go the route of dementia. We're going to talk about that, too. So then I think it was Renna. Renna called Erica on the phone and Erica says that, you know, she's on her way. Right. So then, you know, Kyle's going to cook for the ladies. She's going to be making lasagna for them. We see her and Kathy in the kitchen. They're talking about what goes in lasagna. Kathy, you know, Kyle's talking about, I'm going to put onions in the lasagna. And Kathy's like, why would you put onions in the lasagna? And they're having a good time with each other. And Kyle is just happy to be in a good space with her sister. Because we know seasons past, they were not in a good space. And it wasn't it because of that show American Woman that Kyle had? Yes, it was. Why am I asking that question when I know it? So then we see Erica. So Erica shows up and all the ladies... Oh, Erica, let me give you a hug. You know, Dorit, let me give you a hug. Dorit, Retina, Kathy, Sutton, Crystal, all the ladies just swarm around Erica and give Erica a hug. And then Erica starts crying. For me, with Erica and the emotional side, it's really interesting to see it. Because we, we know Erica as what? The Ice Queen. So it's just really interesting to see her in this setting as you know and you know um much like myself erica is a cancer just like me so her birthday i think her birthday is actually her birthday is in july because i think it's her dorit and renna their birthday is all in the early part of july i believe if i'm not mistaken and i'm much like erica i'm a cancer you know people think that cancers are very emotional and I always tell people, when people say, oh, you're a cancer, I'm like, yeah. Like, oh, you must be one of them emotional people. I'm like, actually, I'm not. Like, I always tell people, to get me, the only emotion, I, I can, can, you know, control my emotions, honestly. But when it comes to my friends and my family, that's a different thing. That's a different thing. You can't say anything that'll bother me, personally. But, I, you know, and I will say there is one emotion that you can evoke out of me. It takes a while, but anger. That is one emotion that you can get out of me is anger, but it takes a while. It takes a while to get that one, especially if you're trying to rile me. It takes a while. You got to know how to get it out of me. So, like I said, Erica, she's crying, right? So she says that, you know, um, they answer to she and Tom talk. She says, no, that they don't talk. And she says, you know, he's, um, he is, he's changing and he's not mentally well. I'm like, oh, okay. So not only have you made Tom out to be a bad guy on the show, now it's going to be the whole dementia thing, which actually I did see that in some doc in some court documents that they are saying that, you know, Tom might have dementia. Could he have dementia? Absolutely. Do I believe it? Absolutely not. 
got to be real, right? <clears throat> so then, the, you know, they were talking about um, her, why she been dragged into it. And Doree says, you know, well, when PK had his his thing, she got dragged into it. And that's the thing that gets to me. Like I said in last week's review, I believe it was last week's, when PK and Dorit had those lawsuits in, in season nine, when they were in Mexico, Bravo did not show it, especially when that woman walked up to Dorit. The woman literally walked up to Dorit when they were at that resort hotel, wherever it was. I remember seeing it on Twitter that the woman walked up to Dorit and the Bravo cameras were there, but they scrapped it. But the woman, I'm glad she posted it on social media because if it wasn't for her, we would have never known about the stuff, right? So then they keep showing this one clip, particular clip of Tom where he's, you know, cutting Erica off. I'm like, see, y'all running with this narrative that Tom was, run, you know, so bad to Erica, but you only have this one scene and y'all keep repeating it. If Tom was such a bad person to Erica, y'all would have had it on camera over the seasons, not just one particular scene, right? So then Erica's talking to Sud, talking to the ladies about, you know, how sucky her Christmas is going to be and... In this scene, I actually will say that I liked Sudden. I can admit that this scene, I liked Sudden. I like to see a different side of Sudden. So Sudden talked about the fact that her father actually committed suicide when she was 32 years old. Her daughter was nine months old and he committed suicide two days before Christmas, right? Her mom doesn't feel anything for him. And I, I, don't, I don't blame her, honestly. You know, he, he, he took his life and, you know, they were married like I, she doesn't miss him she says she doesn't miss him and i i don't i can't really say i blame a woman like how do you just do, it's selfish i know people i know it's a men, i know mentally he wasn't together but it's still selfish um i'm gonna pause and you know catch my breath and then we'll move forward and probably i think we'll be wrapping the episode up right yeah we will all right you guys so I will say that Kyle's new interview looks, she looks very beautiful. I love it, right? So then we see her and Kathy. They are really having, they're having a good time in the kitchen cooking. Kathy is 100% a great addition to the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Whoever finally, whoever thought it was a good idea, whoever said, let's add Kathy Hilton to the show, you deserve a raise. Love Kathy. Um, what else do I want to say? I was going to say something else. I was going to say something else, I forgot what it was. But yeah, Kathy is a great addition. Great, great addition. Oh, I know what I was going to say. You know, when they were talking about Kathy was joining the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills for season 11, I was like, Kathy? I'm like, Kathy is going to be snobbish, stuck up. But I'm pleasantly surprised and I'm actually happy about that. Now, I want to know where in the hell was Rena going with that damn disco ball ass jumpsuit on? Girl, that was ugly. So here we go once again with Erica, right? So at this point, Erica is trying to play. Uh, so Erica is talking about that they're out there looking at the hot tub and the pool that are heated, right? So Erica is talking about, once again, how she doesn't have money. And she's talking about, you know, at the old house, she didn't even get the bill about the heated pool and the heated um hot tub. But at her new place, she has one. She turned it on for a little bit and got the bill and, oh, no. You got to turn that off. I'm like, oh, so now you're, you're going to play the role of, I, you know, it was Tom's money that I have. And now that I'm not with Tom, I don't have as much, which, you, which I'm not going to sit here and say she doesn't. She doesn't have as much money, but girl, you're not broke. You might be rich white people broke, but you're not broke. So then they sit down for dinner and they talk about a new moon and letting things go. And, you know, Kathy said, blow out a candle and they do that, right? So then Kyle asked Erica the question of what's going to happen to Erica Jane. Erica says she doesn't necessarily know because it is expensive being Erica Jane. But she did tell them that, you know, financially she's going to be, she's okay. And she did let go of her studio. She also tells them that Tom's assets are frozen and that she feels that Tom should turn in his law degree because she then talks about how he's declining in health, right? And how he was mean as hell to her. I was like, oh my God. So then the other ladies chime in. I know Kyle chimed in as well as Crystal. They talked about, 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 you know, Alzheimer's and dementia, right? Now, I know in most cases, people who have Alzheimer's and dementia, they do get mean. 
not always, not always. Like my mom worked with a, a man, of you know, before she passed away, my mom worked with a man. His he he was deep into his Alzheimer's, but he was he was sweet as could be. Now he like she, now I will say he did have his moments where he could. You know, she said he had moments where he could be mean, but that was far and few between. Like most times he was just like a he was literally like a child. And even my grandfather, before he died, we don't know what was going on with my grandfather, but he was, his memory, his mind was, he, my grandfather was actually slowly turning into a child. My grandfather was similar, he was acting like what my little cousins were at that time. He was acting like a seven-year-old child. Now, you know, what my grandfather, I was, I was thinking about this before I came on camera, I was like, he didn't have any mean spells, but yes, he did. He did have some, but not. The way that they're trying to make it out, like, Tom just has these mean spells. And my thing with Erica is the fact that, you know, she's talking about how mean Tom was to her, right? But what I go back to is last season when she was talking to Garcelle and talking to Garcelle about how good Tom was to her. So I'm like, which one is it, Erica? Like, I want to believe what you're saying, but you're contradicting what you've said on this show previously. And that's where the issue lies with me. It's just, it's the contradictions for me. That's really what it is. Um, she tells them about an accident that Tom had a few seasons ago, right? I'm actually with Sutton. It was confusing, right? So Erica said he, you know, he broke his leg or ankle because of that, because of the accident. I think she said he was unconscious for some hours. Then she said he went off of a cliff. We couldn't get a definitive answer if he was ejected from the car or not. If he was ejected from the car, he would be dead. I'm going to be honest with you guys about that one. He would be dead. Because I have a friend when I was in high school. Actually, I've known this. I had known. I've known this girl since we were in elementary school. I've known her that. I knew her that long. We went through elementary, middle school, and she was already in high school. I was still in middle school. She was two years old. She was two grades ahead of me, so she was about a year or two older than I am. Actually, she was born in '87. She so she's two. She was two years older than me. She was born in '87, and I'm born in '89. So. What happened is her and her cousins, well, yeah, she would, he would have died because my friend died on impact. So the story is she, her and her cousins were driving on a, on the street at night and they lost control of the car, right? My friend was in a back seat of the car. She didn't have a seatbelt on and they went down an embankment and my friend was ejected from the car and she died on impact. It's been over, she died in 2002? Yeah. So, yeah. That, so if he went down uh, and and she's at a cliff, I just don't know what's what. And then at the end of the episode, Renna is going to find a oh wait before that. She said, you know, when he called her, she didn't know if he was if he was what happened to him. She thought he might have been out cheating on her. So now we're going to add some more stuff onto Tom. Right. Hum. So first Tom was has been mean to Erica. Right. Tom is his health is declining. He's going through dementia and now he's cheating. I just don't know what's what, and I don't know what to believe. And then Renna. Renna manages to find a way to make it about herself by talking about Scott Disick and the fact that Drake is following her on social on um, Instagram. Really, Renna? Okay. That's it, you guys. Um, let me know what you guys thought about this episode. Please leave your comments in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell button so you guys are notified of when I drop anything else. And share the video. Until the next one, stay safe, you guys. Take care of yourselves. Remember to wash your hands wear your mask or not i would really i really hope you guys wear a mask with this delta variant going around um be blessed you guys and i'll see you guys for sisters and i'll see you guys for bt presents the encore so let's move on